Hi everyone, this is Retarded Foxhound with a brand new video on Minecraft. Um, today I'm gonna show you the most amazing map that I've, I've seen in, in a really long time. Um, this is actually the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. <clears throat> And uh, I did not make this map, I want to be clear on that. What I did do though, is that I have modified the map in TechIt and made it the way that I believe that it's supposed to be. Um, I basically changed the entire interior of the map of the plant. I've added um, real pipes, real lamps instead of glowstones and I put out signs basically everywhere so that anyone that downloads this map can actually find their way around and explore. So before we go into the power plant I want to show you just how big this map actually is because this is this is just sick. I know there are a lot of uh, Chernobyl maps out there downloadable. Uh, this is the most accurate map that I have ever seen. It's basically a complete copy overview of the Chernobyl power plant. So um, <clears throat> I put out lights basically in every single building here because there were no lights at all here so everything was just completely dark. Um, and as you can see this is this is the actual power plant. Um, I hope you can just bear with me for a little bit here because I know that there's a lot of lag here. Um, I don't have a, a beefy computer, but it should be alright. Um, the TechIt mods makes it lag a little bit. So, so anyway, <clears throat> let's take you on the tour. And please have in mind that everything is not finished yet. But basically everything you can see here, the reception desk, the um, the lamps, the industrial lamps, I put this up because every single room was basically just empty before. Um, there are some rules and regulations that I put up in a book here that you can read. Um, set up some computers and stuff. I'm gonna... I didn't put these signs up though, I'm gonna change them later. Um, Basically, this is where the personnel will change. Um, so here's the entrance to the H HQ office and the reactors. And I I'm just, I'm just gonna show you around here. I've had some thoughts about this. I'm probably gonna put some NPCs here, some NPCs like security guards and stuff. Um, before entering, you're gonna go through the de the decontamination and security process, of course, which is here. I have some metal detectors here. Um, and there's a decontamination room. Uh, if you go through here with items on you, basically the alarm will go off. As you can see. So, let's proceed. God damn it. Let's proceed into the reactor here. Um, this part is not finished yet. I'm gonna change these. They're facing the wrong direction. I'm sorry about that. So just don't mind that at all. I can't stress enough how extremely detailed this map is, which is completely amazing. I mean, what I've done here is basically, as you can see, these are actual working water pipes. Um, everything was made out of wool blocks before. Unfortunately, as you can see, all the walls are made out of wool, so don't light a match in here because you'll destroy the entire nuclear power plant in a matter of seconds. Uh, what I did do though is that I changed every single outer wall and the roof into iron. So hopefully I mean, I'm gonna get started in changing all the inner walls into iron soon as well. So, here's the connective hall to unit 3 and 4. We have the pumps here. All 
also here the connective hall to the reactor halls. <coughs> and here we will make our way to the unit 4 control room and the central hall. Um, as most of you probably know, unit 4, the unit 4 reactor was the reactor that failed in 1986, causing the reactor to simply blow up, causing the accident. So I'm going to show you this, this part. Um, as you can see, I've made a few changes here. I'm not done yet. All of these glowstones were also put here before. Um, I've changed them into actual lights. Sorry about the lag here. To the central hall. Wow, I really got to do something about these doors because... Yeah. Um, as you can see, I modified a lot of here. There's actual water running through these pipes. Um, let's let's go up to to the control room. Here we have the reactor four steam separators. Um, these were also ma all made out of wool before, uh, as goes for the pipes. And that's what I love about TechKit. There are so many things you can actually do here. Uh, you have machines. You have a steam generator here with actual pipes running running through here they're going down to the steam separators and into the reactor core and everything you can actually connect everything and make it work um, it takes a lot of time but it's it's pretty funny um, so I'm gonna show you this stuff here here we have the reactor for the central hall um, and here we will make our way to the unit for control room I'm gonna show you the central hall first and I don't know if you've seen actual pictures of the central hall or the reactor halls, but this is very, very well done and detailed. Um, I will fill these holes up later with with colored, colored blocks because that's the way it's supposed to look like. But what we're looking at here is the actual reactor, reactor number four. Um, this is a reactor hall here. Um, so I, I'm going to show you some stuff here because everything that you see down here below, this is a reactor core. I have made everything that you can see here except the actual reactor shell because this was all just a massive pile of shit before. Um, I've actually installed a nuclear reactor. What the f fuck happened here? Oh my god. Okay, um... Some of these blocks might just be corrupt. <laughs> uh, what the hell is going on here? Jesus! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay. Wow. That's actually, um, pretty funny that I actually started recording this video forgetting to take the uranium blocks out of here. Um, what you were just about to see was um, a nuclear meltdown. Wow, that could have destroyed the entire map. Um, I apologize for that. That's, uh, that's not a very good thing. I'm gonna fix that very quickly here. Um, wow. That was really close. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. So let's take a nuclear reactor. Uh, we have re reactor chambers. Uh, da, 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 da. Lever for activating it. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna fix this real quick. There we go. The nuclear reactors. There, there, and there, and there, and there. Okay. And of course, we had to have the thermostats because that's also one of the lovely things about TechIt here. Um, wow, red alert. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have to change this. There we go. Uh, yellow. There we go. We got green. Let's put this on. 10. Put this on <laughs> zero. Sorry. There we go. Thank you. 
Uh, orange caution. Uh, let's move this one up. Oh shit! Five thousand. Sorry. Oh, okay. Now we're back in action. I'm I'm terribly sorry about this. Um, do like this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Anyway, so what I've done here um is that I put thermostats into the reactor. So basically when you fill the reactor up with uranium rods with fuel and activate the reactor it will start producing actual power because I have connected this reactor to the turbine hulls actually making power which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you this later. So anyway all these wires here, the red alloy wires, they are connected to the control room. So when the heat of this reactor will rise there is an active warning system in the control room so if the heat will go way too high um, the alarm will go off which was basically just about to happen wow um, <clears throat> can't believe that so as you can see everything here all these pipes and stuff are actually connected um, okay except this one sorry um, I'm gonna show you this now. I've connected it over here. All of this stuff goes straight up into the control room, which is behind this wall. I'm gonna show you this in just a moment. And over here, we have this power cable connected to the actual reactor, producing power. Here we have the airlock, uh, the passcode enter the, the core, of course. Everything that you see now, I have built. I have modified this because this wasn't here before at all. Um, to make it have a little bit more of a realistic feeling, you know. Uh, here are the pumps. Um, this leads out to the golden corridor. Here we have the uh, unit three and four turbine hall. This is amazing. Um, basically, everything here was was there before on the map. What I've done is that I've placed out lamps everywhere. I have remade the piping the way that it, I believe that it's supposed to be because this was just wool blocks before. Uh, and all the turbines were made out of wool. I made them into metal instead. And uh, here we have a MFSU connected to a high voltage transformer, connected to a middle voltage and a low voltage, uh, which is actually working um, when the reactor is active. I'm going to show you this now. There we go. So let's make our way back to the core right here. I'm, I'm gonna start the reactor up. There we go, into the core. And uh, we are back. Oh, wow, uh, it's lagging as hell. Let's take some fuel rods, uranium fuel, and of course, we need coolant cells. Otherwise, the reactor will blow up immediately. So, one there, uh, one there, one there, one there, one there, and there. That's enough. Okay. So, around the uranium rods we need the coolant cells. Otherwise, they should really hit the fan. Go. Thank you very much. One there, placing one there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Almost done there. All right. Almost there. There we go. All right. Then. Okay, that's about it. I'm gonna activate the reactor now that lovely 
Geiger sound or whatever. So when the temperature rises here, these thermostats will warn me before there's an actual accident. You see the core temperature is still at 0%, which is great. That's the way we want it all the time. So this reactor is actually producing power now. Let's go back to the turbine hall and I'm going to show you that it actually produces power. As you can see, it's producing power to the MFSU, which is pretty amazing. <clears throat> Here we have the uh, underviews and cores. I just want to say once, one more time that this is a massive build. It's easy to get lost, um, but the funny thing about it is that there is so much to explore. So much. It's a never-ending story. So um, here we have the reactor bottom for, of Unit Three. Wow! Thanks for the, thanks for the lag and stuff. Mm, there we go. Uh, reactor Three, I have not finished yet. You see, I've, I've, it's, I've basically, basically just put the the reactor chamber up here, and and that's basically all I've done. So here we have Central Hall 3. All right. Um, I'm going to show you the control room now. Okay, let's do this a little bit in an easier way. Yes, and there we go. Wow, okay. I'm going to remove these uranium rods now. Thank you. Hopefully that will go away soon. Um, <laughs> as I said, it's pretty hard finding your way around here because it's so big. Um, oh, well, you look at that. So this is how the steam separators looked before I changed them. So this one isn't finished yet, as you can clearly see. We have the emergency cooling pumps here. These I've modified a little bit, basically putting them on like that. We have a pump here, an actual pump. They're not connected though. Put some lights around in here. Um, let's see here, connective corridor, golden corridor, uh, the pipe hall, pumps, more pumps, turbine hole. Okay, let's make our way upward. I'm going to try to find my way into the control room. Um, the best way to get to the control room would probably be here in the connective corridors. No, wrong way. Sorry. Should be somewhere around here. There we go. Let's see here. Uh, Unit 4 3 and ventilation building, um, the turbine hall, reactor core maintenance. Here we go. To control room. All right. To unit, unit 4 control. I did not put this one here, but okay. Fine, I guess. Wow. Um, as I'm playing, I'm actually getting a little bit worried that something happened to the map because there are blocks that I believe I put here that I can't see at the moment. I'm gonna fix that later. Anyway, control room, unit four. Where the shit went down. Or badly, anyway. As you can see, as the reactor is turned on, the core temperature is normal, and this one. This green lamp will always be lit. When it's working on high power, the temperature the temperature will naturally rise, causing this lamp to, to be turned on. 
if it's getting too warm in the reactor core, the orange lamp will be lit. And, of course, as for the accident that actually happened, um, if the reactor overheats, the this red big lamp will be lit and the alarm will sound. Basically, if the alarm goes off, that will give you maybe 10 seconds to get out of the building or shut down the reactor before everything goes to hell and explodes. So, this is the control room. Uh, this is supposed to be the overview of the, of the reactor and the fuel rods. Uh, what I will do is that I will actually install a cooldown system, which means that if the reactor overheats, basically all you will have to do is pull a lever activating uh, a cooldown mode for the reactor chamber in the core, filling it up with pack ice to cool it down. I'm not finished with that yet, so that's that's what future will do. So, all right, um, we have the upper connected corridor here, unit three control room. As you can see, I haven't get, gotten started at all at this control room. So basically, every control room looked like this before I made the modifications. Um, I'm gonna take you around here. I've already been there before. Let's go out here. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Um, I'm gonna show you around here a little bit just to see what we're actually dealing with here. As I said, the map is enormous. It's enormous. Um, and all these buildings outside of the map, I. I we have an emergency bunker here. Um, I put out a lot of work on this map, uh, modifying it and you know giving you the feel that you're probably after playing a map like this. Um, what I'm going to do later probably is that I'm because as you can see, it's a flat world, which is too bad, of course. But it's it's possible to edit that in in MC Edit. Um, moving this world into an actually a regular Minecraft world, a little bit more playable or whatever. Uh, we have an office building here. The interior is, of course, not finished yet. But here we have Unit 1 and 2. Yep, looking really good. Sorry, it takes some time for my computer to render this. So there you have it. Feel free to explore and have fun, because I know I have. Uh, this part of the reactor is far from finished. Unit 1 and 2, I haven't gotten really started on them yet. Um, I basically just made a few modifications just to get started. So. Yeah. So if you like this video, Please leave a like on the video to show me that you like the content. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more Minecraft videos like this. I'm an explorer, I'm a builder, that's what I do. Um, I will most likely modify a lot more maps in the future to come. Um, if you have any suggestions on maps that you've played or seen that you would like me to modify and put a video on it, please leave it in the comments. And also please comment what you thought about this video. Thank you very much guys.